Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, January 6th at midnight, 2020. Check out the models. Heavy snow moving into Florida and southern Texas. The nexus of the Schmexus. Keep calm. It's boom time. Eau Claire is closing out the decade with the wettest year in 45 years. Not only that, it has the most snow ever recorded in a single period, crushing the 1903 record by over an inch. And that is tonight's first boom. Let's bring it in. Hello. And that is knowledge. Let's blow this up a little more. Boom! I have a cut on my tongue and it's killing me. How record snowfall in Rhinelander affected residents? Well, heads up, Wisconsin. You had record snow so far this year. And we come over to Las Vegas where they're claiming the ninth wettest and the 16th hottest. Well, how cold was it? You frauds. 2019, record cold and snow dominate the start and end of 2019. It's true, Brainerd. 43 degrees below zero. As New Year revelers plan their outings, the National Weather Service was sending out reminders, especially to Brainerd. Hello. Not cold, uh, not hot up there. Mountain snow, gusty winds expected Monday through Denver. Burst of snow followed by multiple crashes across Michigan. Heads up, top knot. It looks like eight crashes between three and four Sunday. Multiple crashes being reported Sunday after mid-Michigan following a blast of snow. Sounds like a squall. Winter storms bringing nearly a foot of snow across the Cascades Monday. It will be their fun day. We predicted it. A front will continue to work its way through western Washington, bringing up rain, wind, and mountain snow this week. Let's we'll see if they have some totals. Of course they don't. It's nothing. We'll get to the models. Snow returns overnight to Montana. But what else is new? Advisories have been issued. Accumulations of 15 to 30 inches will be possible Wednesday in the highest terrain. Clearwater, Bitterroot, Sapphire. Snow will develop late Sunday night and will last through midweek. Areas impacting travel Monday for northwest Montana and the mountains along the Montana-Idaho border. Valley locations could even see a dusting of two inches Monday through Tuesday. Even though temperatures will be slightly above average, snow totals will be deafening. Period of wet snow possible on Tuesday in the Washington region. This is D.C., not Washington State. Hello. Central PA, West Virginia picking it up. Snow has been scarce this winter in the Washington region because it's usually scarce in the Washington region. <laughs> and on balance, we're in for an unfavorable pattern for wintry weather. Duh. Winter just started, Washington. Wait for it. February and March is going to be epic on the East Coast. Lake effect snow warning issued for Tug Hill. Up in New York, could get as much as nine inches of snow beginning early tomorrow. Hello. Weather system will bring another round of snow and rain to the northeast early this week. Check out the picture. Five dead and more than 50 injured in Pennsylvania turnpike crash. Wow. Now to Pennsylvania and a deadly pileup on the state's turnpike.
hike. Five people were killed. At least 60 others were hurt. State police call it a chain reaction crash. It happened near Mount Pleasant, about 40 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Nearly 100 miles of the highway were closed in both directions. Hours later, there was a second deadly crash less than 15 miles away. As Hillary Lane reports, it all began early this morning on icy roads. A tour bus carrying passengers from New York City to Ohio collided with three tractor trailers and a passenger car. Officials say the victim raged in age between 7 and 60 years old. We have several people that were transported to area hospitals. Uh, we believe it's around 60 total. State police say the accident happened at around 3.40 in the morning. A Z&D tour bus headed to Cincinnati lost control on the Pennsylvania Turnpike near Pittsburgh. It set off a chain reaction. It was uh, headed on a downhill grade and the bus was unable to negotiate a, co a corner. That bus went up an embankment, rolled over, and then was subsequently struck by two tractor trailers. Another tractor trailer came and collided with those two tractor trailers, and there was another passenger car that was also involved in this crash. The tour bus flipped onto its side. A FedEx truck separated from its cab. One passenger car was seen pinned between two other delivery trucks. Police say many of the passengers on the tour bus do not speak English. We are working with the Red Cross. They are actually at, at the scene of the hospitals uh, working with uh, the, the different problems that, that come into play when it comes to finding housing, uh, you know, reconnecting. Total tragedy ones. there. Also this morning, less than 15 miles away. More accidents, more freezing fog. Drive safely, folks. Let's check the models. So, heavy snow moving into Idaho. Those are the warnings we talked about, as well as Washington. And then it will deepen through Thursday. And then, at the beginning of the weekend, the major system in the Northeast sets up. Look at it. 22 inches in northern Ohio. 20 inches in the northern, northern uh, New York. 20 plus in Vermont, New Hampshire. Even Maine. But look at the big winner. And then a second system hits the south. South Texas, the Schmexis of the Nexus, Louisiana, and maybe even a tippy touch in Florida. We'll be watching these models closely as they show Florida snow. Ho, ho, ho. Inclement weather in the Pacific Northwest. Windy conditions in Southern Cali. Unsettled weather, including rain and snow. Mountain snow continue in the Pacific Northwest. Frost and freeze warnings, adding insult to injury down here in Florida. Hello. Take a look. Ocala, 34, overnight. Heads up. Wallaca, Palm Coast. St. Augustine, chilling. Gainesville, 35. Lake City, 33. Live Oak, 33. Could it be? Snowfall analyzer. The big winner, Southern Wyoming and Denver, picking up 36 over the last 48. 18 to 24 up here in Montana. Great ski season developing. Even over in Europe, the UK showing heavy snow. Are you kidding? Northern UK showing a meter or more through January 19th. Norway buried. Look at that. Look at those totals. Even Denmark getting a little flurries. Hello, Heinrich. 5.8 magnitude earthquake hits Oaxaca. Nobody injured. But two more earthquakes rattle the heartland in the New Madrid region, adding 14 to the Appalachian Fault in the last week. So we're keeping a close eye on the uptick here. No other quakes of note. Heavy activity in Japan in the moderate region, but no groundbreaking quakes anywhere. Oh, let's finish this up. Rumbling Alaska volcano sends ash plume five miles into the air. Shishalden with a boom. Indeed. Shishalden volcano update. Explosive activity continues in the most active volcano in the uh, Aleutian Peninsula. 
Ash plume rising to 20,000 feet is continuing. No other eruptions of note. Kluchiskov and the Kamchatka erupting almost daily now to 20,000. In fire ravaged Australia, more BS hits the mainstream as climate denial goes up in smoke. And what they mean by that is that the leftists that are pushing climate alarmism and global warming are denying the fact that they started these by eliminating control burns. So by not burning the forest, you light the fires that kill the people and burn the homes. It's your fault, environmentalists, not climate change. Did you hear me? Crude oil top 70 as U.S.-Iran tensions escalate and Bitcoin soars. Mystery illness hits city. So far, 59 people in Wuhan have been diagnosed with the unexplained illness, which is going to mutate and kill most of the planet. Scientists link La Nina climate cycle to increased diarrhea as people are shitting themselves all over the planet. It's your fault. Crater found from asteroid that covers 10% of Earth's surface in debris just 800,000 years ago. And it wasn't Yellowstone. Can you believe that? Eyeball planets might exist and they're as creepy as they sound. They look like big eyeballs. They have nothing to report on. Read the article. Your mind will be blown. Wow, more evidence for active volcanoes on Venus. And we'll never go there because it's literally 800 degrees. Rare super flares could one day threaten the Earth. Who's picking that up? Thank you, CU Boulder, for picking up what we're putting down. We're about to do a video on this article. Stay tuned. Not only that, I have some top secret footage. As long as I don't bring up any porn here. Let's do it. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. What we just found weathering out of here. That is some serious pottery. And then this darker assemblage down here, which is just sitting here next to maybe a grinding stone. Just a pile of it. Pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. Definitely see a piece down there. And Rare super flares could one day threaten Earth. Hope you got something out of the video. It's late. Past my bedtime. Thank you for bearing with us while we're on the trip. And I cut my tongue. I actually did this video and I shouldn't be talking. That's how much I love you. Be safe. And that's a boom.